Hey guys, it's Claire Sua. Welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm on a wellness journey and I've recently really healed my gut. If you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering how I alleviated my bloating in my tummy. I never really thought that my tummy was bloated. I just thought I was a type of girl that had a bigger stomach. And I didn't really know that the symptoms of being always tired, super irritable, you can ask my friends, having a foggy brain, having a swollen face, were really symptoms of a bad gut. It wasn't until I recently got an enema and made some like lifestyle changes that I started to feel a real difference in the way that my body felt and that's when I realized that over the past two years I think I was really struggling so I normally have just kind of like a weak gut compared to other people according to my healer and around like eight years ago I had waste buildup ever since then in my gut so like within my intestines and it wasn't until it got so bad to the point where I started to get like really stubborn pimples and a really swollen face that I realized that my stomach was actually really bloated compared to what it was like two years ago and that I wasn't in fact like the girls that just like kind of had a bigger stomach. I wasn't born with like a flat stomach per se but it definitely wasn't normal. When I look back on like five six years ago I really want to stress that I'm talking about my tummy bloating not about oh this is is what it took to get a flat stomach. Flat stomach, that's all optics, but what I'm talking about is I had an uncomfortable swollen stomach. That was an indicator to me that my health was not what it should have been. My gut was unhealthy. Also, I want to stress the fact that this is my personal wellness journey. Like, it's not going to be yours. It might not work for you. My gut looks different from your gut. The way that my body reacts to food is going to be completely different to the way that yours reacts. I'm not a doctor and I don't know your body, so there's no way for me to really tell you what to do. I am merely learning from an expert in wellness who has a deep concentration in East Asian wellness and sharing that with you. Because as you can see, like, look at my skin like my skin looks so healthy these days like i'm not wearing any makeup i swear to god i swear to god it's literally all just sunscreen right now and sweat it's so it's so fucking hot in new york right now first things first i had waist buildup according to my healer and the way that he was able to tell that was through pulse diagnosis he saw that i just had a lot of buildup of um basically poop in my intestine and what I had to do was get an enema I did it over a process of like three days and that alone was probably the first and biggest step in just turning the ship around I had really bad swelling in my face really stubborn pimples and I couldn't sleep well once I fixed that once I got the enema I didn't feel that anymore and my face literally went from this to this so it's pretty crazy if you don't know what an enema is it's I'm not even gonna be cookie cutter with you. It's real gross. They, you basically inject liquid up your asshole and then it goes up your rectum and travels into your colon, your intestines, whatnot. And it literally takes out the pieces of waste that are just like stuck and have been there for who knows how long. But for me, it was for like eight years of residual waste built up over time. After that, I was super conscious of my diet because according to my healer, what really caused that buildup is a bad diet. The foods that were really causing a lot of that blockage was beef for me. Flour also really clogged up my gut. And lastly, cheese. I love cheese so much. I literally would every single weekend probably eat cheese in some way. When I went out to drink, I would come back home. I would literally get a shredded bag of cheese in my drunken state and just like eat it. Like that's how much I love cheese. So no wonder my gut was horrible. I made a lot of different diet choices now and a lot of people ask me how it is not being able to eat the foods that I love the most. Like literally pasta, pizza, hamburgers, steak. I would always eat foods like that. Um, I did have like a balance of like healthy meals but just having those meals too pretty frequently hurt me a lot. And a lot of people ask me like how I gave it up so quickly and really it's just because I know how my body I used to feel back then even though at that time I thought it was normal and how my body feels now and it's really just out of fear of having to go through that again because one time I ate like a hamburger once in a while it's okay once a month or so I just had it and I felt awful the next day I couldn't go to the bathroom that day and I went from someone who used to boop like once or twice a week to now like once every day but if I can't go to the bathroom a day it gets me so 
fucking frustrated like it literally ruins my day and it makes me feel so good when i can go to the bathroom i have like a clearer head i feel like i have more energy throughout the day i just don't ever want to go through that kind of lifestyle again and feeling that way and i always felt tired all the time so now the foods that i eat are it's actually pretty boring and that's purely because i don't have as big of an imagination yet when it comes to these types of foods that i eat i went from like just eating like hamburgers and pastas to now eating very clean in the morning typically i'll have yogurt with blueberries i really try to always eat yogurt with blueberries or oatmeal with blueberries it's very good for your gut and your digestive health i also try to eat an apple every day because my mom told me that that's super important and she is also super into wellness and learning from my healer as well i try now to have like bigger breakfasts too with like yogurt and blueberry i'll have a toast but it's whole wheat with avocado maybe smoked salmon on top and an egg because egg is a good source of protein throughout the day and it helps me have energy and my lunches are usually mostly like plant-based or i'll have meats like pork or fish so basically anything that's not beef if it is like red meats it can't really be oily or else it's also really bad for my gut no sausages or anything like that i usually have like pork shoulder instead i try to eat meat throughout the day because it also just gives me energy when i don't i get super hungry and i feel pretty tired another thing about my diet is that i try not to eat past like seven or six i have lunch at like 3 p.m and i try to make sure that that lunch is a really really big lunch it's really important to take your time eating in the past i literally and i still struggle with it now I used to chew probably like eight times maybe even five and then just swallow that's so so bad for your digestive health because digestion really does start from the moment that you take a bite your saliva is digesting your food but also you need to be chewing your food so that it's easy for your systems to digest I try to chew around 25 times before I take a bite and I try to dedicate about like an hour and a half to me just eating I've noticed that that makes a huge difference if I'm eating very fast I notice that the food really does get stuck here like I could feel it I get very in Korean like chaesa but indigestion which seems like a no-brainer and everyone tells you like chew your food but it's so so important I'm not eating less throughout the day I'm just eating less frequently and fueling myself up earlier in the day and making sure that I am eating large portions and getting like necessary amount of calories for me so i don't really eat past 6 p.m anymore and i've noticed that has really helped my bloating the foods that i eat are mostly korean food because a lot of korean food is kind of good for your gut it's a lot of fermented things a lot of korean food is really plant-based and meats were later added on i eat a lot of bibimbap if i don't know what to eat that day because cooking healthy foods for yourself is really a hard thing to do i throw together a couple of vegetables add gochujang, sesame oil, and add an egg. Sometimes I make tenjanggu, which is soybean paste soup. Why did I feel like my pronunciation was so bad with that word? And now I can't like say it normally. Tenjanggu, 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 tenjang. I'm over it. <laughs> I eat that um, with poke salad plant. Not a lot of people know about it. When I first learned about it, it was hard for me to research about it because I don't think there's a lot of information out there, but it grows a lot in Kentucky, apparently. It grows on my mom's farm in Virginia. That's where she lives. And when I visit, she gives it to me and I just plop it in. I also talk about it in my first vlog. That really does help with bowel movements. The last change that I've made is that I exercise pretty regularly now. Throughout like college, and after college i wouldn't really work out because i was always so busy or telling myself that i was so busy <laughs> there's always time not really prioritizing it because i was so tired all the time it's almost like a vicious cycle like you feel tired because your body's unwell so you don't take care of your body it's a really hard cycle to break out of i do a lot of like more so like strength training and other types of exercises that help with digestion one of the things is a wall bridge that i always put on my story and Instagram. That helps with my flexibility, with my strength, toning my muscles, helping my digestion. I also like wield my sword a lot, which is a form of martial arts that I do. Do a lot of stretches with ankle weights on. I don't really fully know what the effects are for my body, but I just do them because my healer tells me to. <laughs> Lastly, I cut out alcohol. I know. 
I know. If you know me, that's crazy. I used to drink a lot and pretty frequently. I worked agency life in, you know, Manhattan and we always used to drink. My friends drink a lot. Live in New York City, it's hard not to. There's always restaurants and bars around you. I'm also Korean American, you know. My dad was a heavy drinker, so it's just kind of like always been there in front of me all the time. It's not been too hard because I don't really see my friends as much anymore, so we don't really go out anymore. It's only hard when I am with friends and everyone else is drinking. I don't feel really tempted to drink. I just feel like I don't know what to do with myself, okay? I'll be honest. Like, <laughs> I've just never been in social settings where I'm not drinking. I don't really know how to have fun without drinking, which is honestly kind of sad, but it's something that I'm unlearning. I'm still very young, so other than that, that's really it. Sometimes I take some fermented alcohol slash herbal medicine. My healer has made for me. I honestly don't know what it is, but sometimes when I do forget to like get out of the habit of chewing really quickly and not chewing enough and I get that indigestion I take some medicine that helps me but I literally don't know what it is but yeah those are the things that I've changed recently that have really helped alleviate my bloating because I no longer have a bloated tummy I just feel so much more energetic and happier honestly gut health is super important because of all of those other things that I mentioned but it really does impact your mental health I feel so much happier these days more confident um, they say that your gut is your second brain. I think a lot of people don't realize how important your gut is, especially maybe so in America. I feel like recently it's been something that has been undergoing a lot of research and speculation. So I really did want to just share my story with that from my perspective. Definitely helped me. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you continue staying with me on my wellness journey. Leave a question in the comments or anything else you're curious about. Bye! It's not that I don't want you here